No Man's Sky. The much-hyped, eagerly anticipated, procedurally generated indie game was finally released today on PC. Delays, bugs, issues, and the like aside, I decided to see how some of the most recently released graphics cards could stack up against this title. So with an RX 480, GTX 1060, 1070, and 1080 in hand, I've got some rough benchmark numbers for you to expect if you're interested in getting the game. Let's take a closer look. For the benchmarking, I played the game for roughly 5 minutes at each resolution on each card with an even mixture of both terrestrial and space gameplay. For graphics settings, I had anti-aliasing set to FXAA and then the rest of the items set as high as they would go either high or ultra. Keep in mind this is all on the day one installation with no further patches, so if you're watching this past August 12th, there may have been improvements in frame rates. Also, since the game is procedurally generated, frame rate numbers won't be consistent across all playthroughs. However, 5 minutes seem to be ample enough time to give a rough estimate. With regards to the graphics cards, the RX 480s and MSI Gaming X and the GTX 1060, 1070, and 1080 are all Galax EXOC varieties. And without further ado, let's jump into the numbers. The RX 480 averaged well over 60 FPS at 1080p, over 30 FPS at 1440p without too many dips below, and then 4K was relatively a rough experience, with some significant dips and an average of 25. The GTX 1060 saw some good improvements over the RX 480, with over a 60 FPS average at 1440p, 90 plus at 1080p, and over 30 average at 4K, but with some noticeable dips that made it less than a smooth experience. The GTX 1070 blasted through 1080p with over a 125 FPS average and significantly over 60 FPS at 1440p. 4K is certainly playable, but not a super smooth 60 FPS. And finally, the GTX 1080 provided just under a 60 FPS average at 4K, nearly 100 FPS at 1440p, and close to enough for a 144Hz monitor at 1080p. So there you have it, some practical numbers for you to gauge how well No Man's Sky might play on your system. Keep in mind that there's a very large number of users who are reporting a plethora of issues with the PC version of No Man's Sky at this point, so your mileage may vary here from crashing at the loading screen, crashing just after the loading screen, or even getting results just as good as mine. However, my experience wasn't perfect, there were a few hiccups that I had to wait through, such as the game basically being unplayable for a few minutes while it caught its bearings. Anyways, with that, I'd like to thank Wootware for sponsoring this video by providing all of the NVIDIA graphics cards that were used in this video. If you're in South Africa, Wootware should be your go-to computer retailer with a wide variety and tremendous pricing on basically every computer component. In fact, they currently have the Galax 1080 EXOC on sale for an extra 1,000 Rand off at 11,799 Rand, which makes it an absolute steal. So if you're in South Africa, head on over to wootware.co.za to woot up your system. The link is in the video description. And that wraps it up for this video for a quick frame rate comparison on No Man's Sky. Like this video if you found it helpful at all. Dislike it if you think No Man's Sky is super overhyped and you'll buy it 10 years from now when it's on only a dollar on a Steam sale. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see more comparison videos such as this one with new game releases with the different models of graphics cards. I've been trying to differentiate my content a bit on this channel and definitely want to hear what your input is. You can subscribe to stay up to date on all of my tech related contents including reviews on three of the graphics cards because I've already done the 1080 and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.